Hello, dear colleagues. I'm glad to be here. And today I would like to share my personal experience in site development with apostrophe CMS as an ordinary developer. We spoke a lot about apostrophe from the user's side, but today I will speak to you from the side of developer how it's convenient to work, how to use it, and what things you need to know to not to break through the problems I met before and to break your own myths about the apostrophe in your mind. As I said, yes, my name is Alex and I'm CMS engineer in Speed and Fashion Company, which is based in Philadelphia. I have enough experience with different content management systems like WordPress, Drupal, but Apostrophe is my favorite. It's even unexpected for me, but recently I found that I always feel myself, gl myself glad when I meet the Apostrophe projects and I feel myself much better when I started to think about the architecture, workflow plan and everything. Because it's really nice thing. I was working with apostrophe two projects, even phase to apostrophe zero dot five project better, which is still alive and feels itself good. But today, yes, I would like to share the recent experience with the recent, with the latest apostrophe three project. Now it's apostrophe four, but I started it before apostrophe for release. So now I will share my screen. Let me know if you see it and do you see it enough well. I'm sharing the screen. So do you see my screen? Yeah, I see your screen now. now. Yes, now sh you should see the site inside in browser. And you should see now the code snippet. So I am planning to switch between browser and my code snippets. I selected the most interesting to share it to you. So I hope it will not look blinking. And if necessary, let me know. I can pause, stop a little and share details to you. Okay, let's start from the site. It was finished around four months ago. The Fertility Partners, uh, the large Canadian company joining the dozens of health reproductive clinics. I will not focus on why they choose apostrophe from the beginning, because we all know about its obvious advantages for the for user. I believe everyone among us can tell about its convenient admin dashboard, great image and rich text editor, clear widget structure. And yes, my favorite is the safety editing, even for newbie users. I will focus about on the developer capabilities and my own discoveries I found over the journey and over working on this site. My, make, my main concern about starting the apostrophe project was the poor ecosystem of apostrophe extensions. So even if we take a look into the official set of apostrophe extensions, you will see around just 50 modules. Yes, this look even <laughs> funny if to compare it to thousands of WordPress plugins and hundreds of Drupal modules. I know that it is not the best practice to overload the project with additional modules and libraries, but when I'm working on content management system sites, I always have my own small set of favorite plugins to cover the critical functionality. And when I have access to 60,000 of WordPress plugins, it gives me sure that I will able to cover each, even the most unusual client's request. So when I started the apostrophe project, I had some prejudice that if we face to some unusual request, which nobody did before, it would be difficult to go through it, because as I said, 
in a WordPress in Drupal, in Drupal, in Drupal, you can be sure that somebody did it before you until you find the solution. I started to work, but one day, yes, it was really unexpected for me, I got a really brilliant insight. It could be obvious, but it changed everything. If you are a developer, just don't think about apostrophe as about CMS. Think it as about node application. If we have the package JSON in the root of the project, why not to extend it? In this case, all two millions of NPM modules will be available for us. So it will be just the ordinary extensions to work on our projects. And it really is a great additional to official extensions. And for, starting from this moment, I started my work process without neglecting the NPM modules. And now I'd like to demonstrate to you, starting from simplest and to more complex solutions, how I use them to extend the project after installing our start apostrophe kit, step by step. So everything is good for now. Everyone hear me? The screen is not frozen. Yes, everything looks great. I can hear you very clearly. Okay, okay. And I will go to second stage. Just the, my experience step by step. So, the first request from our partners who curated the development process was to use Tailwind CSS framework, framework for styling. No problem, we quickly installed the official extension of Tailwind CSS. And in a few hours, we switched our project for using CSS. And we quickly, we quickly received all Tailwind components to use in our work. It was the first and most simple request. Then we needed to set up the global elements like expanding menu, in our header. So you can see. We use the Alpine.js module to realize it. Maybe you've heard about this and it has the NPM extension to implement it. It was a really great choice because we used it not only for expanding menu but for another components like type tabs and accordions. And to do this, we implemented Alpine in our main asset file to initialize it on every page. You know the official apostrophe recommendations. Recommend to use the large main asset file or such global components. As I saw, they said just one import, just one start, and we have the access to expanding animations on each page on our project. The next point was the carousel. On such list, you can see we are using it in different components, even in two same compo two components on the same page. In the beginning of project, we tried both all carousel and swiper libraries, but finally we stopped on swiper. We just added, yes, one import from Swiper bundle according to NPM package documentations. And this was enough to initialize the carousel on each page, on each components which use this. But we did not neglect it, even the ordinary jQuery library. <laughs> yes, you can see it here. Apostrophe 3 does not provide it by default, in despite of apostrophe 2 but you can easily install it and it is still a great choice for custom non-complex animations like for example the increasing numbers on the main page so you can easily initialize it and write your own jquery scripts 
as in any other project. So, since we finished with the initial styles and animations, we move deeper to a great world of NPM extensions and how to use them in apostrophe. First challenge, challenge, challenge full thing personally for me was to implement the device recognizing feature. I'm mostly backend developer and our frontend developer requested this from me to resolve the one annoying issue with iPhone 13 model. This was the first ex similar experience for me, but I quickly found the npm package named named not device detector red is documentation and in the apostrophe widget index.js file I just added the small component which used the device detector feature. So uh, lately we rejected this from pro before we started pro we moved project to live. But I kept this code, code snippet to use it in future projects because it allows us to recognize not even yes this desktop mobile is it but also browser and the model of device user tries to reach our project. Uh, the next request was to integrate the site contact form but to integrate it to postmark service. You know that ofi official apostrophe for module supports not not mailer by default but postmark was a clear requirement from the client and no problem I installed the postmark integration just add, uh, added the small extension to official apostrophe form module and implemented the, the very convenient handler submission which initializing when anyone sends the submission from apostrophe form. In this moment we started the postmark getting the postmark API key from the form field. I added the specific field to each form to have the different postmark servers if necessary for different forms and we can just send the email to clients mailbox. So no problem with this and personally for me it was really a great discovery because to say frankly I don't like not mailer and I would like to prefer then other services and you can see we can connect apostrophe form, form to each service you would like. Uh, the next request was to the more specific functionality like social med media share buttons. So each article page on our site should have the standard set of social media share buttons you can see. And ah, yes, I just forgot uh, we just return back to this because it's also the interesting sample. But let's finish with share buttons. So no problem with this. NPM packages provide a great range of different libraries. I choose the most lightweight and most simple from this from them, which names is yes, just share buttons. Implemented this to our main scripts asset and it's initialized. And now it works as I expected. The only thing I needed is just to add the code snippet to each uh, article page and to customize them. Yes, and one also interesting thing which could be done with jQuery is the interactive navigation. So this page is built from text widgets, but not the ordinary rich text widgets. Each rich text is 
extend it with a special heading. And after we add in this widgets to page, uh, the navigation is combining from this heading and provides us the jQuery smooth scroll to each item of our page. So it's just the ordinary jQuery, nothing outstanding. Yes, and the last, uh, not last, yes, but the most important and integration, which is really could be named a um, small piece of proud for me, is the integration with Mapbox. One second, please. Yes, yes, you see this interactive map where you can find the different clinics which inc are included in, our, in this company. And you can even find the clinic nearest to you using, yes, just easy navigation feature. So how it was done? First of all, as uh, I said, it's the integration with Mapbox service. I used it before on different and few in other projects using Drupal, but it's my first experience of integration to of integrating it to apostrophe. First of all, we needed to create the set of locations. For this, I used the apostrophe PS type, which I named clinic clinics. So how to make this? Very easy. When you are creating the each clinic, or without, uh, you can add the fields to it, and you can add some hook. Before save, you can geolocate its address. So user enters the address for clinic, and you are using the mapbox box external API and access request this library provided by a poster. Okay. Can is the request or its coordinates according to doc to address and to fill the latitude and longitude for each clinic. So from this you are receiving the set of locations. Uh, the next you need to integrate the interactive map. So for this I used the three libraries. Ah, uh, not three. Two libraries, but I will start from the the most significant. It's the Mapbox gel geocoder. There is no clear documentation about how to use it in apostrophe. But there is enough documentation how to use it in Node.js application. And this implication worked for me without any problem. For this, I created the specific widget named Clinic Map and implemented apostrophe map there. So you see, it looks, it looks short. But the main functionality is in the specific map box extra bundle. I followed the advice to pack the large scripts, which are not global and are using on the same page, into the bundles of widget. So as I said before, the global scripts like Alpine for expanding menu and share buttons. I'm calling from the main asset file, but large scripts like Mapbox, I'm calling from the file attached specifically to Clinics Map widget. I do not focus about the standard uh, code, how to call the Mapbox feature. I just wanted to say that we can easily import Mapbox geocoder from our Mapbox IPM package. We can import the distance calculated functionality from so-called turf in PEM package. And this is enough to build 
such interactive map. So where you can easily find the distance between location you entered here and between the nearest clinic of our client. So that's my experience with using the PM package. But do not also neglect the official apostrophe models, even if they are not numerous. The great advantage of apostrophe is that each module could be easily written and approved on project level. For example, I had the apostrophe for module and I needed to provide the client the ability to create, to change the length of text field. So you can see here, there is a full text length view and there is a two fields with a, only the half length. This is necessary to build the nice looking design. So no problem with this. I found the form text field widget in the naughty modules after they installing the form module and I just written the, it on the project level. Edit just the design field and it worked well and without any problem. The same with SEO module. It, it is good and provides us the meta fields, meta title and meta description, but in our project I needed also open graph fields. A few improvements and you can implement open graph fields without any problems and even module maintainer will not recognize when his functionality adds and your additional functionality starts. Also, I would like to have a few words about the integration, but it's not module and not official extension. It's about multilinguality. You'll know that apostrophe provides the full multilinguality on both on front-end and back-end side, but in our case, we had not enough budget and enough necessary to implement it. We just needed to implement the multilinguality for users. And in, the, in this case, we implemented the gtranslate widget. So you can see there is easy switch between English and French in our case. It was not private, it was not a problem and it surprised to me how simple was it. The only thing I would like to advise you if you are using gtranslate widget, widget, it would be a nice idea to disable it uh, when you are in editing mode. Because in this case, yes, gtranslate becomes insane and tries to translate not only the con content, but also our editing tools. We don't need them, need this, so remain this on front-end only. And just a few words about the post-launching maintaining of the site. Yeah, I think you all met the problem of migration from apostrophe to to apostrophe 3. It could be really painful because uh, as I checked a few months ago, the apostrophe code upgrader and code mostly content upgrader are still in beta stage and are not released. And yes, this would be really painful as I can just remember all this immigration from Drupal 7 to Drupal 8. It's the similar. But the great discovery personally for me was that when you need to migrate from apostrophe 3 to apostrophe 4, you need just to write one command to update apostrophe. And now the site which started from apostrophe 3, now it is running on apostrophe 4 and feels itself a nice good. I'm working on the similar site now and I have a great plan to pack all my functionality into my own NPM package and to use it on the next projects. 
Now I successfully packed all my widget, all my widgets, packing the global elements, and now thinking about how to how it would be better to include into my npm package also the styles for my projects. It is not very easy for me, but I'm have uh, I'm uh, totally sure that everything will be okay. So that's my experience. I hope it was helpful for you and I open to any questions. If you would like to ask me, please ask. I can return back to each point of my story and to explain it into details and to share something that I could miss. So, waiting for your questions or feedback or everything, anything else. If I see a question from Sam, um, can you tell us a little more about the client or the healthcare company? Uh, about the client? We've been seeing this whole site as you've gone through it, so it's curiosity. Mm, Sam, are you asking me about the client? Yes. Uh, yeah, N not sure if you can. Yeah, he's just curious about the about the, the client for this particular project. Maybe what it was like working with them. Ah, uh, we worked together with the other company from this. But then, client, yes, is the Fertility Partners, the large company which joins the dozens of reproductive clinics and they like apostrophe because <laughs> as I said it's pretty easy <laughs> to edit when you are working for example with WordPress and you trust the site editing to unskilled admin he can break any he, he can break site in a few clicks on apostrophe yes that's impossible <laughs> I'm glad Apostrophe helped with that. Um, I'm going to hog the mic a little bit and ask a question. I, I see that you import jQuery and you import Alpine. It made the really good point that just because we don't ship jQuery by default, that doesn't mean you use it and so on. I'm curious, how do you decide what's a good uh, task for jQuery versus what's a good task for Alpine? Um, well, let me think a little. Alpine is pretty good when you need to implement some, how to say, well-known functionality, which is the same from project to project. In our case, yes, it's the expanding menu. And let me check. I will hope to share. Expanding menu and not. I may be... Ah. I maybe will I will be able to find it. Ah, the expanded menu and the accordion and the tabs widget. Its functionality does not change from project to project, so you can easily just copy it from one project to another. Is a jQuery? I think I've personally I implemented when I needed to write the specific animation specific behavior. In my case, it is the counting numbers. So you can see the increase in numbers. I had a great, a great problem when I had to take in mind that some numbers can contain the plus on the end. Some numbers should have comma as the decimal, decimal separator. And in this case, I had to write the specific behavior for each case. So you can see for Alpine you need just to initialize it and to write the specific class into your cartoon or expanding menu. But for this custom behavior I had to write the special number formatting and number animation which took in mind the plus and this comma and any other which client could enter into the fields because if they're not it's not 
the static numbers in the fields from apostrophe widget. Oh, that makes a ton of sense. Um, Flip Flip um, have a question in the chat. They asked, why did you choose Mapbox instead of Google Maps Embed? Because well, I already had the experience with my box. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right? Yes. My team lead are uh, questions. My team lead uh, answered also, why do I always choose Meteor? Because <laughs> I know Meteor. The, yes, uh, in this the, case, uh, yes, I, I really had. Yes, yes, Israeli, I really have uh, enough experience on different projects with my box. And the second, why I prefer my box, because I don't know, I do not like Google Map policy, according to right. where I was, yes, starting from the moment when they changed the receiving of the API keys when you need to enter the credit cards and everything, everything yeah. else. For this project, yes, I can generate my box token in uh, two minutes and to use it, is to use it without any problems. Yes, I remember when the, the pricing came in, we were all not thrilled. Yes, so yeah, I love the way you, you're able to show like all the ways you use topography extensibility. Um, we've had a lot of talks lately that are about alternatives, like, you know, what if you use Astro, you know, what if you go headless, but it's really great to see a talk that focuses on, you know, using apostrophe the way it was originally designed and, you know, how well that experience can work out. They can still you know, use all these MPM modules. Um, I especially yes. like that you, it's like, I especially like that you said, you know what, I'm going to use Postmark. You just did use Postmark as NPM in JavaScript. There's nothing stopping you from doing that really. Important point, I think. Yes, you're yeah. totally right. Yes, Cascos, yeah, as I said in the beginning, the poor ecosystem of official, official extensions can fright some apostrophe, uh, some CMS engineers to use it. So the thing I would like to share is uh, just to not fear to start with apostrophe, because in any moment you can use the NPM package. Yes, it's mostly for developer because ordinary user is not able to install the extension and to build the totally no code site as, for example, he's able in, uh, in WordPress. But for sure. developer, apostrophe is, has really much wider ecosystem than even in compared to Drupal uh, and uh, WordPress. Right, I feel like, yeah, I, I'm, believe me, I'm taking notes. Like, yeah, we need, we need to talk with our marketing team about how we talk about NPM, how we talk about Passport and, and how like you have access to 2 million packages and here are some official packages. <laughs> yes, um, yes, absolutely. Cause it's good. This uh, still could be obvious, but it was really the insight for me. And I remember that I did not met it in the official documentation. Sure. It will, yeah, it would be really nice to mention the with a few samples how to integrate the, uh, the external IPM modules to apostrophe. This is true. And your async component example was a great one um, for that. So, uh, else to inquire about. Have you worked on any, uh, um, you know, I mean, well, that so far this is a little bit of a love fest. So I'll, give, I'll go ahead and, you know, one thing you pointed out that wasn't, super great is that you came across the content upgrader and code upgrader and saw that they were in beta. Um, just so folks know, we did publish those um, in the last year as 1.0 stable. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, A2 to A3 migration, it, it can be a, it can be a task. It is definitely a task. Uh, are there any other things that you wish were better or would change in apostrophe if you were king? More documentations. And yeah, yeah the silk, which I met just now on my own experience, when I'm play, when I'm packing my own packages to apostrophe. Mm -hmm. On sec list, I can even share this. So do you see my screen? Yes, now I'm working about my own apostrophe package. And I'm meeting a few issues with it. So for example, how to pack the, not only the configs, but also the assets to apostrophe, to NPM package. And now I'm working it on the sample with the official 
extensions and yes i would like to make this unofficial extensions but firstly for me as in probably for community but in the documentation i didn't found the enough instruction how to create your own extension so I I'm, going going part, yes, yes, I'm going through it, but it could be more simple. Well, yeah, no, that's it. always documentation is we're always adding more and better documentation and Bob leads really great documentation effort, but it's also a moving target as we keep adding. You know, we always have to remember it's not a feature until someone can find out. How to do it. This has really been great. Um, does anyone else um, want to jump in with a question? I don't know. I'll see what I Your namesake says, thank you, Alex. I agree. Thank you much for this. And for, you know, just following through with doing so many great client projects with the positive.